Alright guys, I am at the thrift store again. It's right before Christmas. This video is probably going to go up uh, after the new year. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to show you guys. They actually have stocked up a little bit more. Like if you look at it, there's a lot more stuff than I have found in the past few weeks. So I did dig through all of this and actually I just see a Teresa here that she looks beautiful. So let me, sorry guys. It looks like this aisle. She's really beautiful. But she doesn't have any clothes. I mean, it's only $2.99. She comes with this weird doll here. But she doesn't have any clothes. I try to get them with clothes as much as I can. I think this is like a Bratz boy. And this whole bag has Bratz in it. Oh, some of them I think are missing their shoes, of course. This is $4.99. That one's also $4.99. But we do have some clothes. Oh, look, and these have their shoes on. That's nice. I'll think about that one. But yeah, as you can see here, there's a whole bunch. Like this one, she's beautiful as well. I don't know what Barbie this is, though. But she does have her outfit. I wonder if she doesn't have her shoes, of course. Uh, some vintage ones. Oh, vintage from the 80s, you know. But yeah, they have a lot of more stuff here today. Like I was tempted to get that Pocahontas right there. I think there's an Elsa back here. But, um, it's a Monster High right there. But what I did want to show you guys, I'm gonna have to kind of go to the floor. So look what I found. Shiba Juku girl. Only $2.99. Like her body's okay, but her face is a little messed up. Like, so I think I'm gonna put her back. And actually, I don't have this one. Um, but yeah, look at her hair. But yeah, my issue is like her eyebrows are also messed up. Like, see? Another one that I found. This fashionista, she's really pretty. She's not articulated, but she's curvy and she has this interesting hairstyle. Uh, $2.99 also, so I'm tempted. I'm thinking about her. And then this gorgeous doll here. I think this is a... Looks like a Teresa maybe? But it seems like she has her full outfit except shoes. So I might take her. I like her outfit. She comes with an Anna. But yeah, so I'm thinking about these right now. Um, I'll go to the big doll section and see what else they have there. I found this bike. It's a Barbie bike and I was tempted, but then I realized it's missing the seat. So that's too bad um, because, you know, I love th these little accessories. Although I actually do have a bike. It's in a box somewhere in my house. But, um, you know, for $2.99, I thought that was a good deal. But unfortunately, it's broken. And look, they actually now also sometimes have Funko Pops. So that's interesting. Um, but yeah, so let's go on to the big doll section now. The big doll section and we found this Rapunzel. She actually has her clothes, but she's $6.99. So I'm not sure, I'm thinking about it. I mean, that's not a bad price for her. And her face doesn't look so bad. Like it doesn't look like it's that dirty. It's just her hair that needs you know some fixing so i'll think about it um we also found this little barbie accessory like a jet ski thing it's actually quite heavy i think it was supposed to make noise but it's 2.99 yeah it's a different doll but i don't know what all that is and the barbie closet is still there and actually is this place set like what is this place set? i feel like i've seen it before i'll have to look at it closer that is actually a Monster High playset and it's $3.99, but I don't really know what it is because I'd never really collected Monster High, but it's quite heavy. So I don't know if it's like supposed to be like a school or a castle or something. Uh, so that is interesting. Uh, here are more dolls on this table. Let me try to see this face. I'm not sure what doll this is. I, mean, I guess I can look at her with the back, but... 
doll is yeah. still here, that French uh, boy doll. Uh, oh my gosh, look at this poor doll right here. She's like, a, I think one of those, my generation. Oh, the Rapunzel is up there. Uh, Barbie head. I don't know what this doll is, but it's huge. Let's see if I can. Look at it. It's huge. But there's nothing really. I, I did go through all this. It's like this piggy over here. Oh, sorry about that music, guys. Oh, she's interesting. Our generation. Um, more random dolls. Cabbage Patch. I did go through all of these and I didn't really see anything. There's some Lala Loopsy over here. Oh my gosh, is this like a troll? That's hilarious. Look, they have this card that's really cute. Um, but it's broken, so otherwise I would get it because it's kind of else up there. And then there's the Cinderella right here. She's like a sinking Disney store doll. It's funny how she's like very lightweight, but she's like $4.99, I think. So I don't know. I'm, I'll think about her. Um, but yeah, so I think that's it for now, actually. Here's another. Oh, Lucy. Sorry, maybe come this way. Come this way. There's this huge doll here. I don't know what doll this is, but she's interesting as well. Uh, like, I think that's a Shopkin. Um, but yeah, guys, so that's it for today. I did go to the, um, like, porcelain section. Nothing new there. I'll try to check the front where they get the more expensive stuff and see what else they have. So I found this. You know, I saw this box and I got excited because I thought it might have been written in the box. But look what happened to it. I don't know. They removed the clothes or something. But yeah, but that's too bad. I think they're supposed to look like oh and look it's not even the dolls are supposed to come in here wow they have all these cute little miniature sets and they have a hello kitty up there brand new packaging that's interesting all right so i'm back home i'm gonna show you guys what i ended up getting from the thrift store today so i ended up getting that uh cinderella i was kind of on the fence about her because i thought she was a little bit pricey um and actually when i went to pay for her i realized that she had this defect here so I, I actually was going to leave her behind but my mother insisted on taking her because my mother enjoys rescuing these dolls so um i ended up bringing her home she was five dollars but she does have her dress and it's not in, in bad condition like the doll herself is not in bad condition other than um, you know, her limb having this, like, see, the joint is broken on this side. Um, but yeah, so she's in decent shape. And that was, I guess, a Disney store singing doll. Uh, then here we have a great find, which is Rapunzel. She also has her dress and she was $6.99. And these dolls, you know, her face is actually pretty clean. Her hair is the only thing that really needs some work. Um, but other than that, her face looks really good. Uh, and her outfit also is in very good condition. Then I got these two dolls. They were $3.99. Um, here's the, is a Disney store Anna. Her face is actually in good shape and her hair just needs some cleaning. Uh, but her knee is wonky. See, it's completely crooked. So I don't know. I don't know if it's worth keeping her just for her head and maybe swapping it when... I get another doll that's in, that like maybe doesn't have such good face condition. We'll see. Um, or maybe I'll just re-donate her. And then this one was the reason why I bought this bag was for this doll. I keep thinking she's like a dolls of the world type of doll. But I have not been able to find this one. Even though I do have the impression that I've seen her before. So I am going to um, pull up my Barbie reference books and see if I can find her. But I do think she is unfortunately missing her top. 
because I do think that this was supposed to like attach to something. There was like a little, see, a little thing here, um, button that I think was supposed to probably attach on her blouse. And I don't see anywhere else to attach that to. So that's a shame because everything else is in really good shape. And she doesn't have any shoes. Um, even the doll's hair, like she does have like her little bracelet and her earrings. Her face, like her lipstick does have a little bit of a smudge, but I think that's from the factory. Uh, and the only thing also is that like this has, you know, I think wherever they had tags on this, like, you know, they poked this hole, but you can't really tell. And other than that, it's in okay condition. So I do have some pink fabric that's kind of similar to this. So I'll just probably, you know, like we'll just make her a top or something, but. Yeah, she's really beautiful and for 3 dollars I thought that was a good deal. So I'm going to try to figure out which doll this is though. Um, and maybe I'll get my book. But I'm going to say goodbye for now. If I do find her in my book, I'll kind of record another segment of that. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more and hit the notification bell if you want to be updated with the videos that I post on here. I will try to post more often. Um, this upcoming year. So anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Ciao.